I am Linda Cromer, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking to you a lot about some of the things that have been going on in my life, because actually, I can usually relate them to business in a way that they can help you. And my subject today is struggle. Now, that's probably not a word you want to hear, because of course it sounds more fun to talk about a lot of things that are positive. But I'm going to put a positive spin on it. I think it's going to help you a lot. So, here we go. You know, there is no day that people don't go through that there isn't just a little bit of struggle. Sometimes it's big, and sometimes it's little, and sometimes it's monstrous, and you just feel like you can't hardly any longer. And I've had a few of those days recently, especially fighting with trying to get my video put YouTube back, trying to figure to put my videos, and some things like that. Now, the major thing I want to point out here, though, is that it cannot take you down and out, which is what most of the time it does. You know why? Because you let it overcome you, and I've done it to myself, so I know. <laughs> And today I want to talk to you about how you can keep from letting it just completely overwhelm you. Now, of course, there's some things that you really cannot walk away from, such as family illness or financial crushes of different kinds that you didn't count on or didn't plan for, and that happens to all of us. The major thing is that you hang on to the things that actually keep you going. If you're, if you're somebody that has any kind of spiritual belief, obviously that's a big one. You need that. Don't let go of the things that anchor you. Now, what do I mean by anchor? I mean, they're, it's just like a ship. Okay, what do they do when they dock? The first thing they do is put an anchor down. Now, the modern ships don't have the great big iron anchors. They have different ways, probably electronic especially, and ropes if they're smaller. And the reason why they do that is then they don't move and they're still there when the smaller boats come back to it. That's still the way you want to behave in your own situation, whether it's your personal life or your business. You have to have those anchors, spiritual, emotional, you know, people that you can count on helping you. If you do it all by yourself, it is monumental and difficult. If you have somebody you can have a little help from, and that doesn't mean that you just sit there and dump all of your troubles on top of them, but they can steer you towards some things that help. Now, one of the things that's really important with Empower Network is one of the eight core steps, and this is not trying to convince you to do it if you're not going to do it, but one of the eight core steps is to listen to our inner circle audios. Now, what are in those inner circle audios? A lot of it is people's stories. Now, you know, personal development doesn't mean a whole lot with it if it's just a whole lot of words. But when you can relate to an individual that's gone through something similar, and you see that that person came out on the other side, and they became stronger, and they succeeded, it gives you some faith and some hope that you can do the same. Now, I know this is a little bit longer today, but it really is important. I see a lot of people going through struggle. And I, my heart goes out to the ones that are. And there are some things we bring upon ourselves, and there's some things we really can't control. Obviously, things like health issues and, and people dying in our family. And those kind of things are really hard to take. And that's when you really got to rely on those anchors in your life. Of course, you've got family members. Hopefully, you've got good ones that really do help you and, and anchor you. Like, for instance, I don't know how long I would survive if I didn't have a good man in my life. That really has helped me a lot. And I have to pay tribute to him because he doesn't do the business. A lot of people ask, but he really doesn't do anything towards network marketing. It's not his thing. It's not his thing. He's just not interested in doing it, and that's okay. He doesn't do the personal development like I do. He likes his crime shows and some of that stuff. He likes to watch his news. He's learned to do it when I'm not around because I don't watch it. But we still 
maintain our relationship because we are an anchor to each other. And that's terribly important that you need to have that. And if you don't have it in your own family, then you got to seek it out. It could be in a mastermind on online. I mean, I can tell you that some of my very best friends came from people that I met online. And that is one of my anchors, is the people that I can actually message them, even get on the phone with them. I can, I can talk to them. I can get a little bit of uh, grounding and help and, you know, get the anchor back in place so that I am on the right course. We all need that. So don't let your struggle keep you from doing where you, what you want to do. Don't let it take you down and out. Make sure that you have that anchor in your life. And usually it's several anchors. It can be spiritual enrichment. It can be your faith in your God. It can be your family members. It can be the people that you're involved with in your business. It can be mastermind people that you know online. It can be all kinds of different things, both online and offline. Those are all important. So keep them in your life. Keep them going. Don't let the struggle keep you out going out of, of your mind and don't let, them, let it keep you from accomplishing what you really are here to do. Because your real purpose is to help other people. That's why we're all here. And, of course, our other purpose, we don't say it a lot, but it's important, is to make money, yes. We don't make it on the backs of people, we make it by helping people. Like I just recently had an experience, just recently, this was completely a different thing, but I had somebody that uh, joined me under GVO. I'm not putting GVO down. It's a great company. Nothing wrong with it at all, but they did not have what I needed. So what I had to do is I had to find another solution. I did. I got it taken care of today. But in the meantime, I had this, this fellow that had had joined me, and I felt obligated to find a solution for him, too. Because I will never have somebody join me just so that I can make money. It's not about that. It's also about seeing them succeed as much as I do. So I made sure he had the same information I did so he could get the same deal. And I took a little while to do that. And it was important. But, uh, you know, that's just how I roll. I, I believe in helping people. I know that it isn't always going to pan out to you know, money that I make. Uh, I'm definitely interested in caring about other people and where they're going with their life because that's the bottom line. When you put your head down on the pillow at night, you want to feel like you did everything you possibly can to help other people. And it does not mean, actually, though, let's make it clear, that you have to sit and listen to somebody's troubles. The only thing you can do is give them some good things to, to think about and hopefully you have places you can guide them to like our inner circle that we have in power. Because those stories build you up and make you feel like you can do it. And that's important. That's what I have to share. It's a little bit longer today, but I really feel strongly that you need this message. And I hope you have an awesome day. Bye for now.